hundreds of students pile out of Fern Creek High School, arms held above their heads as heavily armed police comb the grounds looking for a student shooter. As parents watch it unfold on live television, their children being evacuated, many of them texting information about their safety. Word quickly spread that one student was shot and another was on the run. Good evening. I'm Vicki Dorn. And I'm Rick Van Hoos. At this hour, the high school shooter is now in custody. Authorities tracked him down within the hour. We have live team coverage of this breaking story. Lauren Adams is at the police station where the suspect has just arrived, and Bowden has been on the scene at Fern Creek High School since it happened. Let's go right to the high school for the very latest from Ann. Ann? Rick and Vicki, as you can imagine, since about 1 o'clock this afternoon, parents, faculty, and staff, and this community have been turned on its head in fear, concern, in panic for some because they heard a shooter had entered into Fern Creek High School, and then they learned it had been confirmed. Just after 1 o'clock this afternoon, our officers received a report of a shooting inside Fern Creek High School. Uh, they arrived and indeed found uh, one victim. And within minutes, that information was texted and panicked parents, grandparents, relatives, and siblings. She actually called me and she was uncontrollable. I couldn't really get much of anything. She kept repeating over and over again, Where's my brother? I don't know where my brother is. I can't find my brother. Where's my brother? She texted me that they were going on lockdown, that there was a shooter in the building. He said that there were shot, uh, he heard a shot fired. Um, he said he only heard one shot. Come to find out, it sounded like there were several shots fired. Students told parents the shooting happened on the second floor of the school, and many were rushed to the third floor as the school went into its most secure lockdown, level five. A further investigation revealed that there was uh, one shooter that apparently fled the scene immediately. I saw SWAT running in with their guns drawn, the proof vests on. Dogs were also called in to search for the suspect as the investigation intensified. Students in groups began to be released to go to Fern Creek Park. Their hands were up in the air as they were leaving the building. I mean, just panic. And Rick and Vicki, still a little bit of trembling. People are still shocked that this happened. Can't believe that this day turned out as it did, but of course, Good news that the suspect is in custody as this investigation continues. A very harrowing and disturbing day for all involved. Reporting live here at Fern Creek High School, Ann Bowden, WLKY News. All right, thank you, Ann. Now, authorities quickly identified the student shooter and began their search. Within just a few hours, they narrowed in on a location and brought him in. Lauren Adams is live at the police station. Lauren, what's the latest? Good evening to you, Vicki. Still a very fluid situation out here. I can tell you this all went down in just the past 45 minutes. In fact, the black SUV used to bring that suspect here, as you can see, is still parked right here behind me. Now, the suspect was captured at the Oxford Place Apartments. That is very close to the school. In fact, walking distance from Fern Creek High School, where, according to police, as Ann just mentioned, that young student, just 16 years old, opened fire, shooting another student. That all happened around 1 o'clock this afternoon. Now, the WLKY news chopper was flying above the 7th Division here as that suspect was taken into custody. That took place just about 30 minutes ago. Not many details are known at this hour about that arrest, but we do know the suspect is inside, in custody, talking with police at this hour. Now, this, as we've been reporting for much of the day, has been a massive search effort near the school and also at the suspect's home. That's what you're seeing here in the Newburgh area. One officer on scene there told me nearly every LMPD officer on duty was involved, including canines. In fact, neighboring agencies were handling their calls so they could focus their attention on locating the suspect and taking him into custody. Back here live tonight, again, the suspect is in custody. A police interrogation continuing at this hour. And the biggest question, Rick Vicky, why? Reporting live from the 7th Division, Lauren Adams, WLKY News. All right, thank you, Lauren. Now, the injured student was immediately rushed to University Hospital. Students who witnessed the shooting told us he was shot in the stomach, and our sources say the young man was not critically hurt. We also learn officers at the time of the hospital waiting to speak with him once he is brought into recovery. Now, once crews determined it was safe to evacuate the students, they were moved to nearby Fern Creek Park where they were reunited with their parents and relatives. WLKY's Tim Elliott is live there with more on that. Tim? 
Well, Rick, a very chaotic day here at Fern Creek Park as parents scrambled here to the park trying to get some answers, trying to get reunited with their children. I'll paint a picture about what's going on right now. You can see behind me that LMPD officers are still here on the scene. They uh, have some parents still trickling into the parking lot. But I want to show you over here to my right. This is the tennis court uh, where students were staged uh, this afternoon. As they came in uh, from the school, they were uh, collected and stored here as parents waited in line to check IDs to make sure the students. Students went home with the correct parent. Now, this all started about one o'clock when those students were put on lockdown. A lot of parents I spoke with today uh, were in direct contact with their child inside the school via text messages. The parents were very uh, upset here today. They wanted answers, so this wait was very agonizing for them. What we know from our daughter is that yes, there is a gunman in there. And yes, she is in a closet somewhere. <laughs> and we've not had another text from her. <laughs> That's all I know. No, if there's no planning going on. They had everybody park right here, and then they said, oh, well, everybody's got to move the car now. This is ridiculous. There's no, there's no plan. Everything is just chaos. So obviously emotions running high here at Fern Creek Park earlier this afternoon. Those two mothers, along with hundreds of others, uh, other parents and relatives, were reunited with their children about two and a half hours later, around 3.30 this afternoon, and they're just happy that they're safe. I am so happy. She's my baby. She's my baby. I'm taking her home. I am taking her home. So in the end, a lot of tears of joy for those parents. You can just see right to my right, some, uh, some students still here at the tennis court uh, waiting to get picked up this afternoon. We spoke with some of the students as they were released to their parents here this afternoon, and we will bring you their account of what happened inside that school coming up tonight at 6 o'clock. Reporting live from Fern Creek Park, Tim Elliott, WLKY News. All right, thanks, Tim. You heard some of those frustrations from parents. Well, JCPS officials are working hard to calm parents' concerns. They addressed the media briefly this afternoon. WLKY's Mark Vanderhoff tells us how they reacted to the tense situation. JCPS spokesperson Ben Jackie began by addressing what every parent wanted to know, whether their child was safe. Uh, the parent and the victim have been united, so uh, if you have not heard from JCPS or Fern Creek um, about the condition of your student, it is safe to assume that your student was not injured in this incident. Jackie confirmed the injured person was a student, and he said school officials reacted quickly. Uh, shortly after um, staff became aware of the fact that there may be a weapon on uh, the campus, the school went into a level five lockdown. Um, the doors were locked. The students uh, went for cover inside the building and they stayed there until the clear was given for them to be able to evacuate and go to uh, the Fern Creek, um, Fern Creek Park. This is senseless. This is unacceptable. This cannot happen in our schools. Um, so we will be cooperating with the Louisville Metro Police Department in any way possible to make sure, A, uh, that we find out who this is and bring them to justice and B, provide anything that this victim may need. Um, this is not the type of thing that students should be exposed to and we will be cooperating operating fully with Metro Police to make sure that we get to the bottom of this and make sure that our students are safe in the future. And Jackie said they would continue to work with police to make sure all the students were safe and to get them released to their parents. Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News. Fern Creek Elementary was also placed on lockdown. Both schools were waiting on clearance from Louisville Police before they released students. Mayor Greg Fisher issued a statement this afternoon saying, quote, my thoughts are with the injured student and I hope he will recover quickly and his family my thoughts are also with the entire Fern Creek community, which has been um, impacted by this senseless act. JCPS Superintendent Donna Hargan says they expect Fern Creek High School to go on as normal tomorrow, so the school will be in session tomorrow. She just arrived at the hospital where she is waiting to speak with a student who was shot. We'll check in with our Erica Coghill, who is live at University Hospital at 6 o'clock. And for more on the events that happened this afternoon, log on to WLKY.com. We're also seeing a lot of chatter about this story on our Facebook page. And we will, of course, keep you updated on all the latest information just as soon as it develops.